in this Loxon smart home that we've installed recently, we've got heating, lighting, security. We've also got uh, access control. We've got multi-room audio and we've also got ventilated uh, automatic windows and blinds for automatic shading. We've got LED skirting lighting, which was quite a task to put in. If you execute it correctly, it can look absolutely amazing. And the good thing about lighting scenes in a house these days, you can make a room look completely different through just changing and cycling through different lighting scenes. For example, when the customer walks down at six o'clock in the morning, then we've programmed it to just have the single pendant come on at about 5%. But when they come down at, or into the room at seven o'clock in the evening, which might be a cooking time, uh, we've implemented a cooking scene, which would be lights quite bright so they can see what they're doing, but with some accent color lighting on the skirting lighting as well. The security features in this house include locks on intercom, uh, which means if the customer's not at home, they're able to answer the door and ask the delivery driver to leave it somewhere safe. The access control includes the locks on eye button reader and that enables and disables the alarm. Um, we've included a small feature within this which uses the LED skirting lighting to let the customer know whether their alarm is set or unset. And we've also used the text speech within the music server to let the customer know that their alarm is unset or set and welcome them home when they come in. This house includes um, seven zones of uh, ground floor, underfloor heating, and it includes radiators upstairs. We've included all of this through the locks on control. And because the house is extremely well insulated, this is a great way to control the level of the heating within the house and keep costs down as well as not overheating the house. So because we've implemented the locks on standard on the switches, it makes it easy to use because all the switches do the same thing. We've got center button for scene scroll and we've got the side buttons for either music or blinds up or down. Also in the media room, we've got uh, the locks on IR control and we've also implemented a couple of buttons that include the remote to give all blinds down and certain settings for different movie scenes and things like that. This ensuite has a fantastic feature, it has a huge uh, shower colour panel um, and that is a great way of implementing different scenes, especially for different times of the day. Uh, we've also got towel radiators which are controlled via locks on and a temperature and humidity sensor air which implements the extractor fan. Some of the additional features that we've got here, we've got um, Velux automatic windows, these are controlled via locks on. They will open if the house gets too warm, yet if it's cold outside and it's warm inside they stay closed because obviously you'd want to keep the heat in. We've also got a locks on wind sensor and if the wind picks up over 50 miles an hour, the Velux windows, if they're open they will close and the customer will also get a notification to their phone. So the lighting design actually also extends into the garden and the outside areas. We've got some detailed ground LED lighting uh, leading up to the front door and we've also got three large colour changing lights which give a fantastic feature to the front of this architectural house. The customer's been left with a fully integrated smart home that's fantastic to use, it's easy to use, it's fun to show people, it's fun to use, it's cost effective, it's safer, more convenient, energy efficient and looks absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm.